well. All right, y'all, let's get some tools moved out to the creek. Let's make some beaver dams today. It's a workout, man. You did it. Hot sauce! We're pretending to be beavers to attempt to create the complexities they know how to do naturally. This project is pretty special. It's one that Northwest Youth Corps has been doing for a while. A lot of people want to be on the beaver project. Most times when you see a stream, it's like super incised and really just straight. What a healthy stream system is looking like is everything's diverting left or right and that kind of formed this spider web. We create these systems and by doing that, that encourages them to come back to this kind of environment and then hopefully make it better from what we did. I started doing volunteer stuff when I got out of college because I was working a job that was pretty crappy. I stick with it because I really like working with young people and watching folks go from never camping, never doing manual labor, and then, you know, at the end of the day, they find themselves doing this stuff. Oh yeah. Perfect. Oh, we should have saved some of that for dinner. <laughs> Heads up, this is coming on. I've been a fly fisherman since I was in the seventh grade and I pay a lot of attention to the ecology of the area, but like I had no idea how critical beavers were to the landscape of North America. They create salmon habitat, steelhead habitat, uh, water pools, they cool the water, they store the water in the ground, that cools down the climate, helps the shrub species, and creates a huge, enormous valley-wide fire barrier so fires can't leap from one hillside over to the other hillside. Yep. Thank you. So we have all these issues, drought and flooding, and this is a natural solution it's been around since before we were here, and we're really just trying to learn from it now and, and mimic it and try and establish it here once again. That's a good hole. No, yeah. People would do that for sure. Aww. I hope so. What if I'm making them proud? Probably not though, because I'll bet beavers really do come up to this and they're like, What are they doing? What is this? Amateur hour over here. How's that boot doing, Elle? This is my second pair of boots that got a puncture. So it's not like I can just switch out the boots. I've really gained an appreciation for the work that non human stewards of the land complete every day without us really noticing it. Is that now? Mm-hmm. Cool.